The 2009-10 season was business as usual for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Though many predicted a rebuilding year for the Zags, Mark Few's young team played their way into the national top 25, won their 10th consecutive WCC regular season title, and made their 12th straight trip to the NCAA tournament. All right, Mark, well, uh, first of all, just, you know, the incredible string of conference championships, of NCAA appearances. As you take a look back now at the end of another season of this, how have you maintained these streaks, this consistency? You know, I, I think there's a, several primary reasons. The biggest one is players. <laughs> Just had great players mm -hmm. over the years. We've been able to attract uh, great players to come in and play at Gonzaga. That they, They've developed while they've mm -hmm. been at Gonzaga and uh, really improved themselves. Uh, you know, I've had incredible staff continuity, mm -hmm. too, and, and uh, we've had incredible uh, leadership continuity at the university with from the board to the president to the athletic director and then, uh, you know, down to me. So uh, all of those kind of add up to uh, kind of, when you look back on it, a, a, uh, an amazing streak of mm -hmm. consecutive, you know, 12 straight NCAA tournament appearances is probably as uh, neat a, an accomplishment as... Uh, uh, we've ever had up there. Yeah. Only lose Matt Bolden. Give us an idea of what that means to the team. Uh, well, I mean, Matt had had his hands on the ball a lot. You know, there weren't many uh, multiple trips across half court where Matt didn't touch it at some point. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've dealt with that in the past. And now, uh, you know, I think we'll probably adjust more into an inside-outside uh uh, team next year with with uh, all our inside kids coming back, right. and that's a key because you have the the nucleus coming back and making sure that Harris is coming back was obviously important for you. Yeah, no, Elias is a had a phenomenal year when you think about mm -hmm. a freshman just coming in, and let alone coming over to a new country and just new style of play and and uh, uh, getting organized with his academics, which he's a very good student, but. Uh, just adjusting to his teammates, adjusting the style of play, a league, all of that. And uh, uh, I thought he had a, a phenomenal, consistent uh, year just throughout. Tips, they haven't converted. Harris, the big step inside using his body and the foul. And Rick Batzel, JTR, and there's the lob dunk, the second one that we have seen. Look at this. Climb the ladder. Look out below. He to stop. They haven't been able to get it. Here he goes to work again, and he gets the bucket. Off. Don't double team him, Terry. He has the time to get to his sweet spot. He'll knock it down every time. Are you kidding me, Elias Harris? Sacre. Followed by Harris. And he's clearing the place out. People, they're going to stop jumping when he's in the neighborhood. Because you just don't want to be on that poster. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That young man right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All you could do is kind of chuckle. Because oh. it doesn't, I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh. Hopefully we can build on that. You know, Rob Sacre's coming back. Obviously, Stephen Gray's been a, another great guard uh, for us over the years. And I think now with Matt gone, he'll take on more responsibility. And, uh, and uh, I think some of our younger guys are going to step in and really contribute too. And, and talk about that, Sam Dower, David Stockton, who, who you both yeah, put through redshirt years. Redshirted both uh, David and uh, Sam. Obviously, Sam was a highly recruited mm -hmm. uh, player out of uh, Minneapolis. And, and uh, uh, I think he can step in and fill a void with scoring the basketball inside and outside. Um, you know, uh, Kelly Olenek, I think, will continue to, to uh, develop uh, there. Uh, man, Gisto, Rop will also help us. Uh, uh, he was really helping us down the stretch uh, of the season before he broke his foot in the conference tournament. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, just uh, some of our other guards will have to step up and kind of short up where uh, some of the things that Matt did. Uh, Mark, let me ask you about the conference with four out of the eight now playing postseason this past year. Do you see that this conference as a whole is lifting? Yeah, uh, no question. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, you could notice it this year just with uh, how competitive most of the games were and uh, just uh, with some of the non-league scores going in. You know, it's just a, uh, I think that the bottom has kind of came up mm -hmm. and uh, uh, whereas before, 
you know, I think we had you know, three or four teams that, that either had poor uh, non-conference uh, uh, records and then uh, didn't compete that great with the top end of the conference. And now you just don't see that. I mean, uh, every night, uh, at least for us, was a was, was a, we had to be playing at our best if we were going to, you know, come out on top. And and I think. Uh, that shows you the competitive uh, mm -hmm. range of how it's improved within the conference. Do you feel, Mark, like you've s set a model that schools like Xavier, even Butler, that made its huge emergence this year, have followed a blueprint for how to build a program at a school of your? Uh, like yours? You know, I think each, I think every situation is unique. You know, and I think we're, we're often approached about that. Um, and I think you know each school's kind of had to chart their own uh, path. Uh, you know, uh, but but I do think that you know what we've been able to do. Uh, parts of it have been modeled. You know, either the scheduling part or or the you know the recruiting part or, or uh, facility part or, or any of that. And, and uh, um, I, you know, I can only attest to what works at Gonzaga. I don't think it carries over maybe to a certain other places. All right, and last thing, you referenced staff continuity, and obviously that's been a story for you the last few weeks. You lost a good friend. Yeah. You gained a great assistant in Donnie Daniels. Yeah, we lost a phenomenal person and a, mm -hmm. and a phenomenal coach in uh, Leon Rice, who I think is just going to do a great job at Boise State. But fortunately, we were able to gain you know, a phenomenal uh, coach and a person who I've been uh, competing with and against <laughs> uh, for players for uh, 20 years. Uh, uh, now and Donnie Daniels. I mean, I, I, I've known him all the way back when he was at Utah and, and then when he was a head coach at Fullerton and, and then at UCLA the past uh, seven, eight years. So uh, uh, it's, it's a great addition to our staff and, and uh, one that we're already uh, feeling the benefits of just with his enthusiasm and knowledge and, uh, and just reputation kind of up and down, the, not only up and down the West Coast, but nationally, uh, 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 what a great job he does. Thank you.